Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is GB Winging It. And today is October 20th. And it's about 5.30 in the afternoon. And, or should say evening. And I'm just leaving the gym after a brief workout. And while I was working out, I started thinking about my next motorcycle purchase. Something that I want to either add to the stable or eventually replace the gold one with down the line. A lighter bike. And uh, I started thinking about what's out there and what has changed since my last large motorcycle purchase. And I have to tell you, all of the bikes now are just laden with all of this technology. And I'm saying to myself, is that a necessity right now for me? At this stage in, in my riding, do I want all of that? Am I just a sort of basic rider, a, a set it and, and go with it kind of rider? Uh, do I want my next ride to be so fiddly? And being in and out of the menu with all of the riding modes and adaptive cruise and stabilized height and all of this other crap. Do I want that or do I want just a pure motorcycle riding experience? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I want to be safe. I'm going to get this light, guys. Yeah, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait, slow speed. And, okay. I always want to be safe. And I know a lot of the rider aids and all of the new add-ons now. They're there to protect you from yourself, I guess. But we all know. It's not just you. I thought about this subject because I'm in the market for another motorcycle and I'm struggling with all of the options that are out there today and how important those options are to my enjoyment of my next motorcycle. So that's the question guys. I mean, please leave in the comments below. Uh, are you happy with the current tech on your motorcycle and does it influence your decision about your next motorcycle purchase? How important is getting the latest and greatest technology? It may not be important at all to you. I know it's not that important to me. I've had, uh, Jesus Christ, over 20 new motorcycle purchases throughout my riding career over the past four decades. And I could think back some of the most fun I ever had on the motorcycles that I've owned. They were non-ABS bikes. Fast forward to now and what I'm riding now and it's got a ton of tech and I do enjoy it and I do believe it makes me feel as though I'm safer. And all bikes these days at a minimum have some form of traction control and ABS. But I'm not so sure I want all of that other stuff on my next motorcycle or I should say I'm not so sure if not having those things would prohibit me from buying that motorcycle if that's what I wanted I mean chances are the manufacturers are going to deliver these motorcycles to the dealers in packages already set up base model or the top of the line model so I may not have a choice if it comes down to what colors the dealer is stocking with what packages so please uh, leave in the comments below is, is it important for you to have the latest and greatest technology for the record I do enjoy the technology I do enjoy traction control I do enjoy the ABS I wouldn't mind having quartering ABS and quartering lights and 
all that other stuff. I mean, anything that helps you or gives you an edge out here, I'm all for. How much does technology influence your next motorcycle purchase? Yeah? Please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for coming along for the ride. This is GB Winging It. And I'm out.